So the IIEA RDS Leadership Forum um, on Climate Smart Agriculture was established to explore how Ireland can become a leader in climate smart agriculture. And climate smart agriculture is about taking an integrated approach to agricultural development within the context of climate change. And obviously the world faces an enormous challenge of feeding a growing global population. But this is within the context of climate change, and agriculture is a major contributor to climate change, but climate change also undermines agricultural productivity and therefore undermines the ability to meet uh, the needs of this growing world population. Well, for the international survey, we uh, circulated a survey to approximately 1,500 international stakeholders and experts, and we had approximately a 10% response rate. And what we wanted to find out from people is, is climate smart agriculture something which is relevant in developing country, developed countries in the first place? Is it something where a leader has emerged? And if a leader hasn't emerged, how could one country become a leader? And the key findings were, first of all, yes, climate smart agriculture is relevant in developed countries, although it may mean something slightly different in developed countries. For example, our stakeholders and experts felt that mitigating greenhouse gas emissions is more important in developed countries compared to developing countries, which is obviously unsurprising. Um, but the concept itself is relevant in developed countries. And if a country wants to become a leader in climate smart agriculture, what it needs to do is to implement climate smart agriculture at home, first of all, before it can present itself as a leader at EU and international negotiations, for example. Um, and another component of leadership is cli developing climate smart relationships with developing countries. And finally, we wanted to check if any country has emerged as a leader. And what we found was that no clear leader in climate smart agriculture has emerged. And therefore, there is an opportunity to take on this mantle of leadership. So the overwhelming majority of our stakeholders and experts felt that climate smart agriculture is something which is suitable for Ireland. And we were surprised that, uh, that all three pillars of climate smart agriculture were considered important by all stakeholders, no matter whether they came from an NGO background or a farming background or an independent expert background. And we next explored, is there an opportunity from leadership and can Ireland become a leader? And it was clear that the overwhelming majority of our stakeholders and experts said yes, that there is an opportunity from leadership. But if you want to become a leader in climate smart agriculture, similar to our international stakeholders, our national stakeholders felt that national deployment of climate smart agriculture comes first. And they identified several strategies for national deployment. And among these strategies were optimizing fertilizer and land use. And we were particularly interested to see land use optimization coming through very strongly as a strategy to be pursued by government. How do you optimize land use between the main sectors, beef, dairy, tillage and forestry? How do you optimize efficiently for economic and environmental factors? Well, this is one um, of our project phases, which also includes uh, workshops, uh, stakeholder events, and uh, we'll conclude in Q1 2016 with a report to government. And we hope that this report to government will provide an authoritative statement on climate smart agriculture in Ireland and will encourage government to develop a proactive climate smart agriculture strategy for Ireland.